Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. In this video on dental anatomy, I am going to discuss the question, write a short note on embrasures or spillways or spillway spaces. First of all, what do you mean by embrasures or spillways? When two teeth in the same arch, that is maxillary or mandibular arch, are in contact, two teeth should belong to the same arch. Their curvature adjacent to the contact area form the spillway spaces or embrasures. All embrasures are the reflections of the form of teeth which are involved. For example, this is the contact area and this is the occlusal embrasure and towards the gingiva this is the apical embrasure or gingival embrasure. In the diagram we can also observe here these are two teeth crown of two teeth this is the contact area and this is the contact area and this is showing the gingival embrasure while this is towards the incisal surface so these are incisal embrasure. Now if posterior teeth are taken in consideration then this is a pair of teeth which is forming the embrasure. This is the contact area and these are the gingival embrasures and this is the occlusal embrasure. All embrasures are reflections of the form of teeth involved. Now the types. First is buccal embrasures. It is the space that has widened out buccally from the area of contact. Then labial embrasures. It is the space that has widened out labially from the area of contact. Then lingual embrasures are there. It is the space that is widened out lingually from the area of contact. Then gingival embrasures are there which we have observed. Widen out space between the two teeth at the junction of gingiva and teeth. And there are incisal or occlusal embrasures which are widened out spaces between the two teeth incisally or occlusally. Now what is the purpose or functions of embrasures. Embrasures provide a passage or spillway to the food during mastication. Food offers resistance during the chewing and teeth apply force to chew it. Moving of food through the spillway reduces the force applied by the teeth for chewing. It prevents the food from being forced through the contact area. When the teeth are veered off up to the contact area so that the embrasures are absent then also food is pushed into the contact area. Now design of the contact area, interproximal spaces and the embrasures depend on the type of teeth involved. Embrasure in between the central and lateral incisor in maxilla is different from the same in mandible. That is in between the same teeth of different arches they will vary. These do not contribute to arch stability. We can observe that this is facial embrasure and this is lingual embrasure that is towards the tongue. These are buccal embrasures. These are lingual embrasures. These are gingival embrasures and here we can observe the incisal embrasures. Important thing, lingual embrasures are the largest embrasures in posterior teeth. Here. These are the lingual embrasures of posterior teeth. The widest incisal embrasure in permanent maxillary teeth is usually found between lateral incisors and canines. So incisal embrasure can be observed, widest incisal embrasure is observed in permanent maxillary teeth between lateral incisors and canine. If these are the lateral incisors and this one is canine, then here we can observe the widest incisal embrasure. 
Now, embracure of the labial and lingual areas are continuous with each other. So, these are the various points about the embracures or spillways. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.